I'm at Home Goods right now and then I'll stop into TJ Maxx. You guys, this stuff has been out for probably a month. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. I've held it off as long as I can and today's the day I'm ready to go inside and explore and see all the new things that these stores have to offer for us for fall, Halloween, because they have a ton, unless they're already all sold out, which is likely the case. Let's hop inside and shop around. Also, not sure if you noticed, but I wore my spooky Halloween earrings today. <laughs> Tis time, sisters! Oh my heck, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> it's okay, I have Apple Pay. This place is poppin'. At least the parking lot is. Let's head inside. I was here a week ago after my dental appointment just to return a rug, and they, they have more. Okay, half of this is blocked, but this is amazing. So incredible. Yes, yes, yes. So much yes. Love the witches. Love the cauldrons. Love the skulls and I saw something on the bottom. What did I see? Okay, this cauldron. There's just so much to look at, it's hard. I bet these light up. A lot of stuff lights up. Oh gosh, the fortune telling sign, you see that? Oh wow. How do we get this guy? This does have twinkle lights and it lights up. There's a switch on the bottom, but I feel like we can DIY that and make it look a little better. <laughs> have you seen the DIY with like those iridescent bulbs? This witch, she is so friendly and I absolutely love her. I would definitely take a sip of her brew. And then these uh, yoga skeletons, amazing. Oh my gosh, see, we don't even know what season it is, summer. All right, these guys down here, these jack-o'-lantern, what can we put in here? Oh my gosh, wait, is this like a, oh. Okay, well, it opens up. That's pretty, okay. Oh, cool little hand. Spooky goblin. That wasn't a goblin, but I think we're fine. Haunted home, enter at your own risk. I love that. I'm just wondering how I can take a thumbnail right here. Oh my gosh, look at this skeleton. He's like a knight skeleton, and I love absolutely everything about him, probably except for the price. We have, oh, the pumpkin patches that away. Who wants to go to the pumpkin patch? Do they still have pumpkin patches open during Halloween? Maybe like fall festivals and stuff. I don't know. Over here, a bunch of ghosts. Oh, this is like the fun, happy Halloween kind of vibe. I can dig it. I like that broom parking with the three brooms. That's cute. Okay, this is the backside of the night here. And I really like this. I just, I mean, it's black and you throw a candle in there. I just like the structure of it. Oh my goodness, look, if you're having a Halloween shindig, this is where you put the utensils, $13 for that, 17 for these Jackos. And then I barely noticed they have this like wicker cauldron. <laughs> well, this is a pretty sweet aisle to roll down. Oh, okay, hold on. Camera. Okay, the camera is sweet. She's my favorite so far. Oh my gosh, this little monster guy. These light up for sure, or at least they used to. Yes, I remember when I saw this, I don't know, like four years ago, I was thinking, yeah, I should get that. They sell out so fast. How much is this piece of crap? Guess that price, $25. I mean, what am I actually gonna do with it, you know? So I'll leave it for someone else. Oh, this cute little spider, he's adorable. All right, anyway, what do we put in these little things? Don't ask me, because I don't know. All right, I just heard a daughter say to her mom, like, you know that feeling you get when you're excited in your stomach? That's how she feels right now, looking at all this Halloween stuff. And honestly, same, because it is very exciting. It's just, I don't know, if it kind of cuts the season, like, does it kind of kill the mood if it's out too early? I don't know, I say, don't look at it if you're not ready for it. <laughs> but I'm ready for it. I feel like the season is among us and I am pumped. Those macaroons, did you see them? So dang adorable. And then the Dracula, I just love how he's happy. He's just drinking blood, minding his own business. You know what I mean? These ghosts, I'm not sure what we put inside. Hold on, there's a button. I'm sure there's a light somewhere, but it's not working. I really love those spiders. I think spiders are the new thing. Those ghosts are adorable too. I've seen these witches brooms in different colors, black and silver. Oh my gosh, behind me, check it. Didn't even notice this crazy guy. Also, guess that price, $1.99. Ah, oh, crap. We'll never know. Oh my word, on the back of this, look at this skinny little witch, you know? <laughs> if the broom fits, fly it. Oh, and then this trio of candy corn, yuck. Are you a candy corn lover? This witch parking, oh, the broom parking, that's what I wanted. I think it's like, four, oh, was it $50?
I shared that on my Instagram. The brooms are included, like the brooms alone. Let's check it. It's 20 bucks and then you get two brooms and that, I guess that's worth it. The wood alone is kind of crazy. That, ooh, a witch's broom. That's like a zigzag wild and crazy version of it. Oh, a little candy tray. Or I guess whatever you want to put in it. She's darling. Behind me, ooh, those are kind of spooky looking pumpkins. Oh, that that's my vibe. I'm loving on him. And then, what does this do? Martha Stewart. Oh, there's eyeballs. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then some wooden baskets okay venturing on down here lots of pinks lots of muted colors i remember when they did this for christmas time where they like introduced pastels and people were all over it i love it it's like the glam halloween ish those ladies like to say boo i guess oh my gosh she's like not the wicked witch of the west she's the witch of the east Glenda? The Glenda. It came to me. By the way, Wicked. Oh my gosh. Such a jam and a half. Popular. I'm gonna be popular. And he went, I'll, okay, I'll stop. Mm. Halloween. Happy ghosts. I like a good happy ghost. I also love a good hanging skeleton, especially when they are bendy. I'm loving this too. It's $80 for the trick or treat cauldron where you can put your treats in there. I'm loving that. Double, double boil and trouble and all that good stuff. Ooh, spider vibes. If you're doing like black and white theme, they have a little utensil holder for that. Oh, and then the darkness has become us. Darkness Becomes Her. What's that movie? Death Becomes Her? Oh my gosh, such a classic. Bruce Willis, excuse me? No one does it like Bruce Willis does it, you know what I mean? All these wreaths, and this one's creative with the twinkle lights in there. You see that? That's pretty fun. I've never seen a wreath like that before, you know, in the shape of a moon, a crescent. That's really interesting and different. Oh, this is fun too. What could you put in there? Food? I guess I'm hungry, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the snakes in there. That's impressive. All these little knickknacks. Lots of snakes, lots of spiders, lots of bugs. What the heck? Is this leftover from summer? I'm kind of confused, but also kind of dig it. Look at that bust. Is that Frankenstein's bride? I feel like it is. Oh yeah, that, there they are together. I love this. You know how back in the 90s, every married couple had like a naked statue? Oh my gosh, purples, blacks. This is the vibe of Halloween. I'm loving this spell book. What do we have here? A protection spell. Ooh, and a love spell. Okay, if you're ready for it, be careful, but there it is. There's the spell of love. Hocus Pocus, which is wanted. Which is wanted? Where do I put in my application? Home Sweet Haunted Home. I actually love this couple. That's us. <laughs> and then a bunch of witches over here. We've seen them all. If you've seen one, you've seen a hundred. Okay, last time I was here, they had all the Annalise dolls right here. Oh my gosh, I should have got it when I saw it. <gasps> no, I'm crying. Maybe they moved them somewhere else, but they had a gator Annalise doll that was a witch, like a witch gator. And I was like, wow, that's absolutely incredible. I love that, but I didn't get it. Honestly, probably for the best because what the heck am I gonna do with it? Actually, those pillows with the witches holding hands, they're ready for a seance. Cam I invited? It came out as cam I invited. I was gonna say, can I go? And then I decided to say, am I invited? No. All right, well, you get it. Bunch of blankets, bunch of pillows. Oh my God, why do I love witches so much? This is the cutest pillow <laughs> and it has beads. That's adorable. And then the witch hats, skeletons. You, you know, are we still into this where everything tells us what it is? Hello, pumpkin and all that good stuff. I mean, 50-50 for me. Really love that one though. And the ghost. Oh, the little kitty. I feel like there's so much I don't see. And then here is a proper fall aisle. I was listening to someone talk the other day. I was at a conference. No, I was listening to someone talk on their Instagram story and they were telling, and I don't even think I follow them. It was just like, you know, when you're scrolling through and she was like, I am a fall girl, not a Halloween girl. Do not mistake us. We are not the same person. She was into fall, apparently all things pumpkin. Give her all the pumpkins. She was not into Halloween. Are you one of those people? Do you like one or the other? Honestly, I'm a Thanksgiving girl. Give me all the food. I can smell this wood. It's kind of wild. Happy harvest. Okay, so now we're in like the fall Thanksgiving section. I can totally appreciate both seasons. I don't really decorate for either one of them. Actually, I really love this and I love Thanksgiving. So just when I said I don't decorate for either, we host Thanksgiving. So I feel like I need to bump up the volume for my 
Thanksgiving decor. And just when I was like, do we need words? And here I am, guys, you live your judgments. I'm just gonna say that. See all the Anna Lee, look how adorable that is. The gator was 1000% more adorable than that, if you can believe it, more Thanksgiving. Now I'm thinking, do I need the turkey? And I'm gonna say, yes, I do. Although I probably don't. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be around for a while. Okay, to our left. Oh, now this one says, happy harvest. This one says, give thanks. And we've got gnomes and owls and all the good stuff, all the wicker pumpkins. Honestly, I don't know how to decorate. Oh my gosh. And then, <laughs> what? Beach themed pumpkins. This is amazing. Perfect for my dining room aesthetic. Oh my goodness, I can't even function with all of that stuff. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say, I don't know how to decorate, just in general. So definitely don't know how to decorate for Thanksgiving, a holiday centered around food. Maybe I should have separated this into Halloween and then a separate one for fall, but mm, that's not what I did. So here we are, you get to see two in one because I like to overdo it. I love these wreaths and they're only $24. Sometimes they're way more. Hold on, I didn't see these before when I showed you. It's like plates and a platter. It's like the Ouija board style. Kind of creeping me out, but T-Swift is playing, so I'm comfortable. Here's another end cap of beach-themed pumpkins and gourds. If this isn't the most Florida thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. Honestly, I should have taken my thumbnail with this dude. Look how cool he looks. He's just ready for the party to start. He's got an electric screwdriver and, oh my gosh, $300? gotta go. Oh, that's what I saw before. Oh, he's a bargain for 200. I like his bowl more, but he's kind of hugging it. So it's a, just a huge skeleton. And then, you know, all the skeleton vibes over here. Look, attention to detail over here. If you're throwing a party, I'm, I don't think I'm at this level yet. Hey, first hocus pocus thing I've seen. Hey, uh, anyway, I don't think I'm at this level yet, but maybe one day I will be. Here are some bats, skulls, gourds, and spiders. These will be great for the kids' lunches for Halloween if they last that long, kind of ridiculous. Bloody Marys. Oh, here we go, Hocus Pocus. Shot glasses. I have big glasses with them on it and then just a little like snow globe skeleton hand. Everyone needs one of those. Starting from the bottom, we've got that poison down there with mummies. You know, I haven't seen a lot of mummies. We've got platters and more skeletons and stuff over here martini glasses. Oh, you know what I saw here the other day? A bunch of candles and I am plumped to see more. Clearly they still have stuff to put out. Oh, I'm choking on my own saliva. Uh, table mats, table runners, I should say. Well, they have both table mats and table runners and the napkins, easy care. This one's fun. It's actually really fun. Why do I want this? I'm thinking like, oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I want it. I just do. <laughs> That's what home goods is all about. Do you need anything here? Absolutely, yes. Oh, like these, salt and pepper shakers. Those, that reminds me of Publix. If you live down here, you know what I'm talking about. And then turkey and pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. You'll never have to be alone. All right, we're in like the kitchen kind of section. Ceramics, I guess. I don't know what the heck is happening over here. Kitty pops. I'm so confused, what the heck? You know what, these days they'll do anything. They'll put a cat on anything to sell it, right? <laughs> Let's put a cat in a pumpkin. It's gonna be great. Got espresso sets. Those bowls. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect size bowl that I actually need. I'm not gonna get it, but I really love it. That is the perfect size bowl. All these ghosts, there's like a little iridescent tinge to it. Not sure why the ghosts have like a fin, but they do. All right, down here, the witch's brew. You guys know I've got my eye on that. We've got more ghosts. Oh, the kitty cat inside of this. What do we put? Chips and dip or something? Definitely not enough dip for me. A villain. Oh, I love Ursula. She's actually one of my favorites, not gonna lie. You ever heard Ursula's song? Just listen to it. Poor unfortunate souls. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. The stuff she says, you're like, oh my gosh, how was this approved? <laughs> She's talking about how guys don't like to listen to females blabber. It's really funny. Okay, fall. Lots of baskets over here. Lots of wood. I like it. Oh, it's Marie. I said, oh, I saw the candles. And then I went down a couple aisles and, oh, the candles are right above us. Yes. But before we do, I'll just show you all the tablecloths. Maybe you can point out a print or two that you enjoy. Oh my gosh, <gasps> witch hat. Okay, well, I definitely can't put 
this one back. That's amazing. Witch hats and witch brooms. This one has pumpkins and witch hats. Oh, why do I even need a tablecloth? I don't. It's so dang cute. Time to explore my favorite section. I have found that TJ Maxx normally has more candles than home goods, but I guess this is the exception, right? Oh, DW candles anyway. DW is my favorite. They have like the coolest and newest and most exciting scents and they smell exactly like what some, some of the smells are like, what the heck is that? And then you're like, magic? That's exactly what magic would smell like. Okay, apple currant, we have pumpkin pecan. Oh, I just hit my funny bone, vanilla apple. So far, nothing too exciting, okay? But I do see a lot on their Instagram and it excites me, so hang tight. More over here, I see honey pumpkin and I can't read anything else. Okay, this one has bats and stuff on it. Oh, cinnamon and vanilla. Ooh, maple hazelnut. Mmm, I can dig it. Apple pie. Pumpkin butter and honey. Give it to me. Love that. Oh my gosh, pumpkin butter and honey. He is winning 1,000. They have chocolate chip cookie here. Pumpkin chai latte. Oh, that smells divine. Oh look, a little pumpkin pie candle. Found a little end cap. That's a cake carrier. I guess you can put whatever you want in it. And then they have some more cool stuff. They have, what are these? Like takeaway bins. I love those, those are cute. Little skeleton molds. They have tins. These aren't a tin, this is a casserole dish. Oh, and then a cat, I told you. Put a cat on anything, it'll sell. A cookie jar, but the cat is a witch or a mummy. How did I miss that? I don't know, there's a lot to look at, so I don't even, you know, visually, my brain cannot process it all. They have a bunch of molds. What are, you, what are we making with all these molds? Ooh, down here, I'll tell you what, I have a skeleton mold I couldn't, I did not get a chance to use last year because um, I was in labor or when I was making all my Halloween treats <laughs> and I had a newborn. So let's go. This year's the year. Is it what, like what's happening here? Why do I need this amount? Like this seems like a weird combination. There's only six cupcakes and then like a weird size tray. Okay, this I can dig. I would literally only use this once, but look how nice those look. And this, oh my goodness, this pan is quality. Okay, now you get to see the other side of it. By the way, my dress is so wrinkled, don't judge me. I was like, mm, I'll wear a dress. <laughs> Why did I do that? Anyway, this is so impressive. It makes me wanna buy them, but like, are they gonna come out like that? Probably not. And then we have this, what does it say? Brie, Brie Witched. Oh, that's so funny. Do we put Brie in here? What the heck is happening? Jack, Jacko Brie. The Halloween. I'm all kinds of confused. I just, my brain. I mean, what the heck is this piece of crap? Is that even in English? I can't read. Pretty sure it's in French. I took French for four years, so you'd think I'd be able to comprehend. Mm, but I can't. <laughs> okay. Moving on to this mold. Oh, it's the same kind of thing. Are we making bread? Oh my gosh. That's just too much. Hold on, there's bats back there. The silicone bat mold. What can we make? What are we making? More cookware down here. I don't see a lot of Halloween stuff or like fall. Oh my gosh, is this like, can we bake bread in here? Is this a Dutch oven? Holy cow, it's heavy. That's pretty sweet. It's a four quart and that is very festive. And then here I found like a tart pan too, dish, Le Crusset. 20 bucks for that one if you're making some tarts. Ooh, dishes for two. No, I need like this. Dishes for 20 over here. Le Crusette again. Wow, that must be becoming a trend. All right, nothing else over here. Sometimes they have festive utensils, but I'm not seeing any. No, oh, I am looking for a hand mixer. Thought I saw a hand mixer, but it was something else I don't even remember. A knife sharpener, boring. Down here, we have kitchen towels and all that good stuff, kitchen drying mats. And normally they have some fun aprons, although, Hmm, where are like the witch ones? Where are the weird ones? These are, these are beige. You know what I mean when I say beige. Oh, these are fun. See, they should have this in an apron. It's got a cat in it. This is actually a pack of two for $8. And then they have bats back there. They've got pumpkins. They have Jack. So that's pretty fun. And then they have some festive, totally bewitching hand mittens. What are these called? Mitts, oven mitts. Just if I say it enough times, I'll get there. So they have Mickey, pumpkin. These are the ones that hang. Honestly, they're my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of Mickey, but I am a huge fan of Thackeray Pinks. 
Oh, Thackeray Binks. I used to think it was just Zachary Binks. Did anyone else before, like, I ever watched with subtitles or anything? You know, back when you're a kid and no one knows anything about anything. Before Google. Literally before Google. Because that's my era. And then we have a bunch of kitchen towels. They just decided to shove them all in here. Ooh, I put a spell on you. I love that. I put a spell on you. Cleaning cloths? Boring. If you're gonna clean, you might as well clean with something that excites you. Am I right? All right. Do we have, to have any spells on some kitchen towels? We do have a haunted house. There are some skulls, some pumpkins, some more witches. Oh, more witches. Oh my gosh, this is literally decorative because it has like puffy paint on it. Okay, not my stage of life. <laughs> Maybe yours. Ooh. Ah. Wait, is this a tombstone? Oh, how funny. This is festive. It's a tombstone shaped slate cheese markers. Holy crap. I'm not at this level yet. This is a bat charcut board. Oh my gosh, I've never seen them like this in a store. Reusable um paper towels ish some of them i have seen velcro together some of them i see have buttons and you just button them together i mean i could never just keep a drawer full of towels you know like towels like that that's what i do i know i mean if you're going to actually put this together that's really sweet and cute and it's 13 dollars. that honestly screaming deal i remember 15 years ago when i was looking at stuff like that and it was like I don't know, a hundred dollars. It's just a bunch of hocus crap loose. All right, we've got Jack and I don't even know her name. I don't think I've ever seen this movie start to finish. I'm sure it's great. I'm still confused. I don't know if it's a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie. I don't think anyone really knows the answer to that. These are reusable bags, but they're eight dollars. <laughs> And it breaks my little achy breaky heart. And here's a little pumpkin. If they had Thackeray Binks in one of these. Oh, wait, here's a cat. I told you, put a cat on anything and it's sold. That's honestly my favorite so far. Okay, pumpkin patches and stuff. What's down here? They just shove everything in every corner of this place. Oh, I'm not even showing you. I'm the worst. Over here, I have a little more space to groove. These are some of my favorite kitchen towels. Just the texture, the way that they feel. They are absorbent and cats again. <laughs> Can I resist? I found a hand mixer. It's from MasterChef. It's $17. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna get it. The things that I actually need, I'm not gonna get. And Thackeray Binks is a non-negotiable. <laughs> make it make sense. Okay, I love these cups. They always have a ton of them. They come in different, not flavors. I really love that one back there. Different designs. And they're just so darling. Oh my gosh, and then soap dispensers. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, and then soap. The foaming soap, pumpkin chai. I'm gonna have to sniff on these. Ooh, autumn air. Ooh, yes. What does autumn air smell like? I live in Florida and that season doesn't exist for us. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Looks like a paper mache, like my kids made it, but it is $8. <laughs> Okay, down here. Oh, actually, this is a nice cheese board and it comes with all the accessories. I know you're hanging on the edge of your seat. Autumn air smells like absolute garbage. This area overwhelms me, but I will give you a little peek seats on it. A lot, oh, <laughs> lots of pumpkins. Okay, that one keeps falling. I actually really love this one. I'm not that kind of golden girl yet. Lots of leaves and sunflowers. Oh, beach house, that one's so fun. Definitely not part of the season though. Get out of here. Oh, this one's cute. Look, it has mushrooms. The soap aisle is tucked away. I feel like I never come down here. I didn't even know this existed, but they do have like pumpkin spice and well, that's pretty much it. This one, chai spice. This, ooh, they have some caramel pie hand soap. This is their bath section that they have set up for Halloween. Oh my heavens. This one says Hocus Pocus. It's just a bunch of it. Oh, lip balms. Okay, I can dig it. They have a bunch of hand dispensers or soap dispensers, <laughs> hand soap dispensers, and then towels with like pumpkins. And then of course our little pet friends, they have a bunch of like pet toys. Oh, adorable. And then over here, I don't know, they have like pets dressed up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what any of this stuff is. I don't have pets. Oh, a scratch post, like a scratcher thing, cat scratcher. All right, here are the fun toys for the kiddos. Squeak, squeak and all that good stuff. Do we love these? I think they're cute. I feel like it's definitely something that needs replaced every once in a while. This little costume, red riding hood, a pet drawing towel. 
It's just a microfiber towel. All right, pooper scooper. I just got caught up texting Alex about how to load a dishwasher if you're wondering how our marriage is going. <laughs> so there are more pumpkins over here. They're ceramic. They'll definitely break in my house, but maybe for you, you'll love them. I remember when these ghosts were first brought on the scene, everyone was loving them. At Cracker Barrel the other day, I saw like a, not a gremlin, like a grim reaper, I guess. And he was self-moving and that was awesome. So they need to make a ghost like that, that's self-moving. I feel like that would sell like hotcakes. More down here, a lot of like, is that um, garland? It's cute. Oh wait, there's way more over here. Gosh, they have so much. A cake platter. What's here? Oh, maybe a candle. There's so much stuff. The Frankenstein's pretty awesome. Okay, I can dig it. Witch's potion. This is the kind of stuff I live for. I don't feel like that's what my potion would smell like, okay? I like the pumpkin smell much better, giving me fall vibes. They have cute little bags here if you're putting together just a bunch of gift bags or something. These are really sweet, but they're $6 and you get a set of 13, so it could be worse. There is so much more up front. You know how they always have those little knickknacks, so I'm just gonna breeze through these napkins and stuff. Actually, how can I breeze through? They're so dang cute. The cats. Okay, we've got pom-poms in the witch's brew and I can dig it for $13. Pretty sweet aisle over here. It's all mostly black and white. I'm loving this. Snake tongue and eyes of frog. Oh my gosh, I love those. Oh, and this little mug, the ghost mug, the tiered trays and all that good stuff. We have a skeleton wedding. What's happening there? Oh, look at these witches, they're best friends. They're the three best friends that anyone could have. Over here, that, is this a board? Like a marble charcuterie board? That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen today. Uh, $16.99 for that. All right, skeletons, mummies, skeleton hands. Oh, that's pretty fun. I don't drink, but like that would be pretty cool. And then I saw, oh, the eyeballs over there on that tray. And then Jack and his wife, Marianne. I don't think I gave you a shot of this earlier, but that's really cute. It's like a birdcage. So I'm headed closer to the checkout and up front, they just have so much. Obviously a lot of it is blocked off, but we can still see a ton. Those spiders, why do I, it's like a macaroon spiner. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's $10, it's just so darling. I love the color. I love everything about it. Oh my gosh, ramen noodles, the frogs, this girl, she's pretty cute. I really like the, the witches, the, the good witches. They're happy. They're doing good things, okay? They're casting spells and making people joyful. And then there's a ton more over here. Oh, the witches in. Okay, well, you know, I have to press the button. The happy Halloween sign. I used to have that. I feel like mine broke. Like literally the second I put it up, I'm pretty sure it broke. So I'm just scrolling along this aisle, that acorn. I'm sure there's brie in there too. Some more pumpkins. A Dracula candy corn is to die for. There's just some random stuff that has yet to be put out. I found some like welcome mats. This might be a bath mat, an accent rug, and then up here, welcome to our web. I'm not really sure what's happening over here, but I love it. Over here, it's definitely fall and pumpkins. Even more of them, if you can imagine. Not sure what these are. Oh, more toys for the tots. And by tots, I mean pets. A ton of mugs, pumpkin. Ooh, a cat. <laughs> There's so many cats. Actually, I really like the ghost that kind of fell down over here. Look, we've got more cats. Okay, this guy. Oh, he, he's purposely down because he doesn't fit, but I'm sure he'll fit up here. Okay, now he's nice and comfortable. I like this lamp over here. It's just a cute little accent lamp. I'm not sure what this witch hat does. I think it's just a little piece of decor, but it's cute. These were the festive kitchen accessories we were looking for. Oh, fun. I've never seen them sell sponges like that before. Oh my gosh, they have hocus pocus sponges. How can I say no to that? They're basically sold out. This is the last one. If I left that behind, I feel like I would regret it. I'm getting Avelino lunchbox, by the way. All right, more up here. Ooh, do you think we can find a fun candle? Mmm, doesn't look like it. TJ Maxx has been slacking on the candle section too, but I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled. Mmm, look, pumpkin spice. It's a room spray. Oh, it's nutmeg, I think. I don't know, I haven't smelled it. Uh, Welcome Boo, they have a bunch of wooden signs. I feel like we haven't seen those in a while. Just browsing on through. Ooh, witch plates of the, wait, are these napkins? What's happening? <gasps> Lunch napkins, I like that. I do need some lunch napkins, but I don't think my kids would want 
witches this early on. I do like the coral. Oh my word, the heat in Florida is just something I hope you never have to experience. Like by the time I drove, my car has still has yet to cool down. How am I shopping for fall and Halloween? And it is literally a million. It's the surface of the sun over here. We are not okay, but we are okay inside the store. I just made it to TJ Maxx and uh, let's explore. Palm trees are really giving me fall vibes. <laughs> well, this place is wiped. Maybe no one wants a handbag. Is that Halloween? Oh, I thought it was. Okay, my mistake. <laughs> I do feel like they normally have some Halloween earrings and they have some bobble bar too here. Not my fave. They had some for back to school that I almost got. Oh my gosh, those are darling little mini mouse. Okay, let's see. I see zero Halloween. Oop, okay. Here is Betsy Johnson and I see some spider earrings over there. Skeleton necklace. Oh, is that a peacock? That's pretty fun. <gasps> candy, wait, is that candy corn? Is that candy corn? I can't really tell. I think so, right? $13 for those dangling candy corns? That's fun. All right, more spiders and the back to school stuff. They had more when I came last time, a couple weeks ago. Look, a little bougie. Okay, I haven't seen Bobble Bar in Target in a while. Spice up, <gasps> color of the world. Wait, spy, wait, this isn't a candle. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, spice, pumpkin spice coffee salt scrub. Okay, well, that was cool, was it? This is fun, brushes and then the makeup bag it looks like a coffin. It's pretty cool. Oh, the body shop stuff. Warning hand soap, poison <laughs> apple. That's so fun. They have Halloween hand soap, this print in a hand soap. What is that? Pumpkin harvest. I like the how that looks. And then the, the midnight berry. I like the foaming hand soap for the kiddos. Pumpkin spice. That's pretty cute too. Oh, and then of course, a kitty cat. Apple cider. I haven't sniffed that before. Normally these are closed, but Ah, uh, you see, a customer normally opens it. A uh, thank you. I enjoy that, mm, as a matter of fact. And then look, a little maple leaf hand soap. Cute, sunflowers too. Creeping foam body scrub. Oh look, it like comes in a couple of different colors, like green and then, that's fun. Oh, here are some autumn woods. Here's the thing with hand soap. There are so many options and I wanna buy so many, but then I, you know, it takes you a while to go through one thing of hand soap. I'm still going through my Easter. I just ran out of it as a matter of fact. So I am in need of a new one, but do I want a Halloween one that's gonna last me until New Year's? <laughs> I should clarify, it's just the soap in my bathroom sink. I don't, you know, how often do I use that one? You know, I'm just saying. Anyway, they have woodland creatures. This squirrel has like a mushroom attached to him. Kind of bizarre, but I guess it's kind of cute. And then lots of pumpkins, owls, all that good stuff. Okay, cute. I have that turkey. Have him, love him. Does he need a friend? Here's some more autumn stuff. I have some reusable bags up here. Oh my gosh, this is my absolute fave. Book of spells. I right, guess that price. If it's $10, I just uh, can't handle that. But if it's six, do we do it? Okay, well, I guess it's free. No tag, $6. I'm not, like, do I need another grocery bag? Yes. Uh, but the rest are kind of giving me fall vibes too, except for that lobster one in the back. I mean, fall, Halloween, I don't know, guys. Just pick whichever one you want. It's kind of ridiculous that I'm even debating spending $6 on a grocery bag. It's like, heck yes. Oh my gosh, it's completely stuck under all of them, of course. You know what, I think it's missing a cat. Anyway, I also found this one, psychic reading, and then they have the, the black bag and the psychic reading too. I really love the book of spells. I think it's fantastic. Maybe what they need on there is the actual book. I have this one from forever ago still. Love it, actually, love it. That's good enough for me. Some of the artwork up here too is highlighting skulls and then the rest is not, but still pretty cool. Here are some kitchen towels. Oh my gosh, game day, baby. Preseason has started and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm like, mm. <laughs> fall means football. Yeah, that's what it means for me too. Some placemats. Nice, nice, nice. I actually really like these. I just got some off of Amazon and these are far too thick to fit you know, as many as I need into the drawer that I put them in anyway, but just for fun, $20 for a pack of two. Okay, I think I made the right choice not getting these. Also, the food would just fall between it. <laughs> if you're into mugs, my goodness, do they have a ton of options. Oh, little chip down there. 
He's super cute. I see the cats, don't you worry. I saw them, still don't understand. <laughs> I mean, everyone has their thing, right? Some people love mugs, some people love cats. Some people have 700 pumpkins and some people have 10 bottles of hand soap under their bathroom cabinet. <laughs> and uh, that's me. I feel like I like this and I would even keep the stock photo in there. Oh, I like this one too. Are we decorating with pictures? Is that the level that we're at? I really like that pumpkin. I don't know if I'm there. I feel like I saw Bits of Brie do it a while ago, maybe last year or the year before. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I would have to see what pictures I have to see if they would even, I don't know. I was wondering if I would see this, the cleaning aisle, they moved. This used to be the clearance aisle, but I can dig it. Okay, they have some fall-ish scents. They have sunflower citrus, a lemon, who cares? Frosted pear, is that a fall thing? Floor cleaner, ugh, get the heck out of here. What's this one in the back? They have harvest apple and pumpkin spice. Okay, I'm gonna sniff on all of these. Actually, what's the green one? Rosemary mint and eucalyptus on the back. I think those are probably the main four. Oh, and then apple cider. Okay, well now we're getting out of hand. They have so many. <laughs> and in a twisted turn of events, I like spiced orange the most, just kidding. But that one was hiding. Wait, do we have apple cider? Yeah, I sniffed it up here. This one's nice. It's the runner up, but the winner is the sunflower citrus. This coming from someone who uses blue land, but sometimes it's fun to just get a different scent, you know? One time I actually saw the blue land products. I think I was at Marshall's. I put it in the giveaway. I think they're fantastic. I wish they sold the reusable tablets here too. That would definitely make my life a little bit easier, but I just ordered them and literally they come right to my door. So how much easier can it get? There is a ton of Halloween stuff back here. Someone's down the candle aisle, so I guess we'll do this first. Is this a pillow? This is the most, is this a doorstop? Oh my gosh, if this is a doorstop, we are sold. It's $8, candy corn lane. That does, that tells me nothing. Maybe it's just a pillow. I don't know. He's really cute and kind of heavy. I need a doorstop. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll leave it. Some more reusable bags over here. Ooh, some fun garland. Here's a box bag. I don't know really what that is. Happy Halloween, some pumpkins, outdoor decor, some fall wreaths and whatnot. Ooh, a shelf. I need an, a shelf to store all of my essential oils. Okay, hold on. Behind me are a lot of blankets for, you know, fe festive blankets and whatnot. Ooh, cats and pumpkins. Top seller right there. Is this the clearance section? Okay, welcome mats and accent rugs. I like this one. I need a rug that's a little bigger, but I do like the pumpkins. I like the sentiment. I think that one says trick or treat. This one would get dirty in a heartbeat. I like this pillow. It's like a haunted house pillow. Uh, that's not my season of life right now because I just have too many kids and they end up on the floor. Well, and there's something really exciting that I want to show you. It's behind me. We'll get there. T toil and trouble on I guess it needs batteries. <laughs> Witches brew. Okay, they have a lot of signs, a lot of ghosts, a lot of goblins, a lot of a lot more Disney than I think I've ever seen. I like the skulls on this platter. Stay for a bite, and then there's a bite out of the bowl. Ceramic, I would break it. I have a problem with ceramics. I want to get them all, but I also don't want everything to break. I like the colors of that. And then those ghosts, these are pretty cute for, for out in the yard. They're $20. <laughs> okay. And then all of this stuff, the table runners. I don't know, there's just so many, you know. Oh, okay. Up here we have some more cats. You know what I saw? I feel like I shared it on my Instagram too. They have witch ones. Oh my gosh, isn't she just a doll? More Halloween stuff over here. We have Frank and, Frank and the Bride. <laughs> good Witch and the Wicked Witch. Oh, the Good Witch and the Wicked Witch. Which one are you? Are you Glenda or are you... Look at these tongs again, the salad servers. I have the plastic ones from the Dollar Tree, but these are heavy duty. Oh, I feel like these I need to upgrade, right? Ooh, $13, <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyway, are you, do you hear this music? <laughs> what is happening, okay? Are you Glenda or Elphaba? They're both amazing. Alpha, Elphaba, oh my gosh, now I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I need to listen to the soundtrack again. Oh, that's funny. Okay, more pumpkins over here. I'm done. Those, those are like, uh, whatever they were. You saw them. I forgot the name of what it is. My brain doesn't 
normally work, so I'm okay with that. Mm, that's a pretty cute stack of pumpkins, if you ask me. Those do stuff. I guess we can press one. I'm scary and I know it. Okay. Yeah, check me out. Oh, he isn't doing anything. Oh gosh, I'm over it. Oh, it's probably the best one. The dog also did Thriller. Someone just uh, started it. Honestly, that's the best one in my all opinion. I mean, Thriller is such a classic, you know? Ooh, the phone. I'm actually looking for a phone like this. It just rings, no one answers. Death does not answer. I'm sorry, that's who I was expecting. All right, skeletons galore. And I've made it. Don't worry, I still haven't shown you the super exciting thing, but I will. Sand and fog. This is a reed diffuser, and this is adorable. My kids would probably spill this, but it's $13. I think that's darling. Okay, what kind of scents do we have? Black violet. What's here? Poison apple. Is that DW? I only buy DW. It smells exactly like a poison apple, so it must be DW. Ooh, this is a great fall scent too, cinnamon, apple, and oats. That's one of my all-time favorites. Last year, it made me sick. I was pregnant, everything made me sick. Fresh brew, okay, I don't know why I pulled that one aside. Oh, these are so cute, the candy corns and vanilla cupcakes. What else do we have? Oh, a candy corn one back here, that's darling. I mean, I'm not a huge fan, but the candle is super cute. Pumpkin allspice, oh, this is right up my alley. As if I need another candle, like somebody stop me. Apple walnut, cinnamon sugar pretzel. I mean, are you joking? Aunt Annie's, Auntie Anne's, whatever you call it. A rose by any other name is, I, I just love pretzels. I'll eat anything. If the problem with that is if I smell it, then I'll be like, oh, I gotta make pretzels. All right, this one has ghosts on the lid. Haunted orchard. Oh my gosh, it smells like a haunted orchard. I just love, I love everything about this. Someone talked me out of it. Cinnamon pumpkin. Also fantastic, very cinnamony and pumpkin-y. I think Mystical Midnights is my favorite, but I love them all. Potions and spells. There are a ton more things over here. Owls, why is there a dog? Oh, he's dressed up as a bat. Okay, I can dig it. Like all kinds of animals dressed up as other things. Hold on, I'm in everyone's way. Spoiler alert, I'm in no one's way. I am just a people pleaser. <laughs> Double, double toil and trouble. And pathological people pleaser, if you will. To my demise, I love this cat pillow. They normally have something, ooh, Jolly Rancher scented markers. Say less, is that what the cool kids say these days? Say less. I'm not sure if this is Halloween or just Star Wars. Okay, well, oh, he's trick or treating, so definitely Halloween. All right, on the other side of this, there's even more Halloween, if you can believe that. Oh, I love this stack of black pumpkins, and yes, do you? Do you see? Mm, do you see what's happening over there? I'm excited to show you. I saw it last time I was here. I'm surprised it's actually still here. Um, this is really cute too. I don't know. Like I don't have a lot of space to put knickknacks these days, so I'm okay with like my hand soap, you know? <laughs> oh, here's the backside of the black pumpkins and a hundred dang dollars. What does it do? Pay my bills. Hold on, I'd much rather have the broomstick. What is this, the witch's feet? Where do we put those? Just in the yard? I guess that could be cute. I would much rather decorate my yard. Actually, I love this lady. Oh, she's down here already. Look how dang cute she is. She's like, oh, who me on my broom? Mm, no, absolutely not. Oh, an Anna Lee witch. Oh, she's darling. I wish it was a gator. Hopefully I showed you what the gator looks like. All right, she's got stuff going on, more pictures. Even just leave the stock photo in there. I think it's cute. See the witch over here? She's adorable too. Okay, let me, let me peek around. Oh, this witch's hat, twinkles. All right, the main attraction. This is what I wanted to show you. I forgot how much it is, but it was, it's less than I thought it would be, $200. Um, and he's naked. So I think Costco has one for around the same price, but he has clothes on, so I'm just saying it's huge. How huge is it? It's eight feet. And I think the one at Costco is 12. Could be wrong about that too, but feels a lot bigger than this. Um, but he has lights in his eyes and he moves. Oh wait, does he move? He's not plugged in right now. Pretty sure last time, he wasn't either. More witch hats. Wow, shocking. Madame Kilmore, cabinet of curiosities. I like that. Oh look, an Anna Lee, witch again. I love her nose. Over here, Fright Night. I've been looking for this. Spice pumpkin, not that one. I've been looking for Fright Night. Oh my gosh, if you could imagine, it's exactly what a Fright Night 
would smell like. We have Mama and Mama's Boo. Let's get wicked together. Does anyone else just love the Wicked soundtrack and it just reminds you of like, you know, seeing Wicked just reminds me, you know, I need to listen to that. I think Wicked's coming back to the Straws Center soon. What's happening here, an apple pie in the sky, yeah, yeah. What are these bats? A spooky night, set of 36. Oh, I forgot, you know how people do that? Yeah, people as in other people, not me. More napkins back here. We've got an apothecary. Oh, it broke. Oh, that's so sad. It's because they shove like so much stuff on these shelves. I mean, I get it. They just want to sell stuff. Beware. We've got some witches brew books, stack of books, all that good stuff. And then cups. Oh, these cups are such a screaming deal. You guys, the cats. Okay, I'm going to tell you. we ha I bought those like Valentine's Day cups years and years and years ago. And we're down to two. So maybe it's time to get more. Should I get cats and pumpkins? <laughs> I don't know if I could stare at that for five more years. Moving over here, there are more candles. And honestly, I wanna sniff each and every one of them. Magical Moonlight, I think Fright Night might be my fave. They're very, very mellow scents, like very deep, but mellow. They have a lot of wooded signs. Are we into those? Do you like those? Those are not wooden. Those are like ceramic. Oh, we have some skeleton ballerinas. His eyes light up too. I think he's fantastic. Oh, and they're red. The exact color I hoped they would be. Lots of skeletons, lots. There's a radio over there, a try me, lots of try me stuff. People are all around. I don't know if I'm ready to press the button, but here I go. Oh my, hey, oh, I love it. I love it. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it only lights up. Have you seen the hack where you put the broom on top of like your electronic vacuum, your Roomba or whatever, and it moves around? That's really cute. Um, except for mine brown, so I can't do that this year. I planned on doing it last year, but you know how things went. I could barely survive last year. All of these ghosts are so dang cute. The most adorable thing I've seen are these pens. They're like ghosts hanging from vines. I love them. A little pink ghost. You can put whatever the heck you want in it. And some of them have buttons. Oh, we have a ghost that's dressed up like a devil. He's dressed up for Halloween because everyone can enjoy. That candle smells horrible, <laughs> but it is really cute. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but oh, it's DW. Oh my gosh, how funny. Haunted marshmallow and cocoa. That's what I smell, the chocolate. It actually smells exactly like it, exactly like that. Haunted marshmallow and cocoa. Yeah, very chocolatey, and that's what I steer away from. Not a huge fan of the chocolate. Love this though. I actually love it just to look at it, but not gonna get it. If I got any mug, it would be this one. Oh my gosh, and it's on clearance. It's tool time. How can I not, like, what am I gonna use this mug for? I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm getting it. Evil queen, evil witch. How did I, like, pass over all this stuff? Look how adorable. There's just so much to look at, I can't focus. Um, I came back to smell this. <laughs> so I smelled that, didn't love the cocoa, but so I thought, you know what, what does the pink one smell like? It is a creepy cotton candy donut. It's a much sweeter scent. And typically I don't love the sweet scents, but that one's really nice too. I had to put all my favorite scents together. And by favorite, I mean all the Halloween DW scents. We have sweet apple and they all smell great. This is like the donut one, creepy donut, fright night, trick and treats, trick and treats, tricks and treats. Okay, I didn't say that completely wrong. Um, these are two new ones I found while I was sifting around waiting candy corn like waiting for people to pass so i'm glad and then poison apple venom potion this is another ghost one pumpkin woods and then haunted orchard orchard in the back oh and then midnight mystical nights these are just so fantastic i mean dreams are coming true i'm not buying any of them want to buy them all I have a cute little candy corn pillow and then this like snake pillow more pillows over here it kind of makes me want to buy some pillows but one, they're like, I don't know, 20 bucks for a pillow. And two, literally my kids would just jump on them, throw them on the floor. We'll do tricks for treats. Hey man, me too. Well, I think someone abandoned their card here. But I just wanted to show you like the kids. Okay, fall, <laughs> fall slash Halloween. Oh my gourd, I love fall. And what do we have here? Jessica Simpson. Oh wow, so smart to go into clothes. She's probably making so much. 
Karen again, or was it Lydia last time? Linda, Candysaurus. Are these PJs? These are super soft. Monster truck. We've got mummies. We've got bunnies. <laughs> okay, interesting choice there. Oh, so many cute ones. And then over here, just some fall dresses. That's really like the only seasonal stuff I see. On my way to the checkout, it's always a joy when I see Lily. Oh, that's not Lily Pulitzer. That's a fake. It's a fake. We gotta get out of here. Look how cute these little hair ties are for the little ones. Wait, what is this? Oh, yeehaw. Okay, well, whatever. But there are bows and clips. Okay, how cute are these clips? I halfway want to get them, but halfway I feel like they're hidden when you put them in the hair. This one has some dangling witch legs. Scrunchies are great. These are really sweet too. Great things. Oh, what's behind here? Okay. Too many cute earrings up here not to share. Skeletons and then the spider webs. Those are really sweet. Oh, they're Betsy Johnson. Love her. Oh, another Betsy Johnson piece. Should have guessed. Those are fantastic. What else did I see? Oh, these little ghosts. These are darling. All of them. Okay. Any more? I think that's all I saw. And even more kitchen towels. Oh, the cute saw little witch. Do you believe in magic? I think I had that at one point, or I think I have an apron that looks like that. I don't know. All right, that is it. Nothing better than getting into a car and pumping on the heat. Thank you guys so much for watching, shopping around with me. Hope you saw some really cool stuff at the store. I certainly did. I found that home improvement mug on clearance that I even show you, and then these were on clearance. Got them for the kids' lunch boxes and stuff. I think they're gonna love them. Anyway, if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time, bye. And by kids' lunch boxes, I mean on the way home. If you can see the crumbs all over my dress, this isn't my first one.